are going to move on because the hits keep coming. On Thursday this week, it was the 365th day before <laughs> the Netball World Cup in Cape Town. And that is massive. It's massive, obviously, for the country. It's massive mm. for netball. It's massive for super sport because we're going to have an all-female crew top to bottom, doing the netball. But I caught up with Vanessa Marie in the Super Satter taxi to remind us that it's a year to go. Well, it was on Thursday. Well, here we are in the Super Satter taxi, and it's a great pleasure for me to catch up with Vanessa Marie de Toy, who, how she fits into here, I don't know, because you're six foot two, and you're gonna make me look really squidgy. I know, well, you are not the shortest person I've met, but you are very much so the English, most English person I've met. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty I good. I feel like I need to talk like this when I speak <laughs> to you. Pro proper, proper. Proper. So we wanted to catch up with you because we thought straight away, let's catch up with Vanessa Marie because today is actually Thursday. So this will go on our Super Saturday this weekend. Yep. But the reason we've chosen today is because a year from now, hey. what happens? It is the Netball World Cup in Cape Town. Woo! Finally, I can't believe it's a year. Incredible, isn't it? It feels like yesterday that they announced the host country to be Cape Town. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. Well, it is, isn't it? I mean, it's a, the Cape Townians, bless their cots and socks. Hello, Cape Town. It's a, oh, it they've is got a country. their own country there. They've got their Everybody own was quite up in arms when they when yes. they said that the host country was Cape Town and not South Africa. <laughs> but hello, Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, give us an update on how the protests have been doing. I mean, because so you don't want to peak too early, I guess. No. You want to peak for the tournament, which is, as we've discovered today, 365 days. How are they doing? Yes, they're doing very well. Mm. So we recently completed our three match test series against Wales and we won 3-0. I'm just so impressed with the whole team and what Dorette um, Bardenort is doing really well is she's grooming the young ones to kind of relieve the pressure from the first line as well. So we, we almost doing what the Springboks and the Springbok rugby team is doing with that bomb squad. Yeah. Because you can put up anyone and they can actually hold their own. So we're not used to seeing just that starting line. She's giving everybody an opportunity to play, which is what you want. Vanessa Marie, a lot of our viewers will be saying, oh, we know this girl, because you actually spend a lot of time across our platforms. I mean, you're a CakeNet star in your own right. Whenever we tuning in, I mean, you're on all of those CakeNet programs. So you love the TV side of things, eh? I never knew that that is something I would like to do. I was a netball player at heart, at birth. I mean, that's nothing else that I wanted to do. And it's almost like TV found me. Mm -hmm. I never went looking for it. It's just, it, it just <laughs> came knocking and now I'm here and I love doing it. Well, we have to say farewell with you, but thank you so much Aww. for joining us. We must get you on the couch next time as Yay. we watch the Proteus. See you there. So, 365 days as of today, which is Thursday, although Saturday, so we we'll quickly work it out, 363. My math's not too bad. <laughs> no, you're, um, doing, you're doing great. But before that, um, folks should be watching and supporting the Proteus at the Commonwealth Games. Absolutely. It's definitely a team to watch out for. I think the Proteus are going to make waves at the Commonwealth Games because you want to set the tone. You want people to come and watch the Netball World Cup in Cape Town next year. So watch out for the Proteus because they are going to be on fire. Vanessa Marie, thank you so much for joining us in the Super Santa Taxi. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here with you. And I feel humble that you chose me to talk about the Netball World Cup.